All right, we're going to go for just a nice slow ride here around Atlanta Motorsports Park. This is Jeff Lucina with Track Guys Performance Driving Events. I'm having to hand hold my video. I didn't bring a video camera mount. This is turn one. We'll do a complete lap so you can see it better without me talking. Turn one is left hander, late apex, down the hill. Exit of one. You can see pit out over here to your right. Turn two, you want to stay to your right here. Because turns two and three are quick little S's. So two, three. Sorry, I'm trying to look at the viewfinder and drive at the same time. Four is an uphill. This is very nice. Four, I'm not moving the steering wheel since I turned into four, and then it brings you all the way around to five, which then, I'm sorry, five is up here. Downhill, five. Six is a more than a 90 degree turn, so it's a very late apex up around here. Track out would be over where the skid steer is at, but obviously I'm not going to go over there today. Kind of the infield straight, if you will, here, which is a series of little downhill S's of eight and nine. You can stay drivers right over here because 10 is a 90 degree left of a blind exit but you can see getting into it this is a tricky turn because you want to be over here but now you want to come back drivers left because turn 11 is downhill pretty good compression down at the bottom of the hill now this is probably the steepest climb out here blind turn 12 which is over there sorry I'm trying to look at the viewfinder and drive 12 13 downhill late apex this is this is what they're probably going to consider their signature set of turn. It's just a big, long, increasing radius carousel. I haven't moved the steering wheel since I turned into it, but it should be bringing me around. I'm a little early here on this, so you can probably unwind the steering wheel. But then it's going to carry you all the way down around to 15. I'm letting the car track out just a touch. Turn in here for 15. and then 16 up here on top of the hill. The chart that they've got shows a, 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 a stock turbo 911 style Porsche being over 140 on this straight. All right, so now I'm gonna drive it again and I'm gonna try to move the camera with my, with my head position. I'm just gonna drive and not talk. I apologize, I'm not being quite as tidy with this lap, but I'm trying to watch the viewfinder and drive through that. It's uh, 
quite uh, discerning to drive through the viewfinder of the camera. Students, do not do this at home or in your own vehicle or with an instructor riding with you. I'll kick your butt. But I'm stupid, so I get away with this stuff. It's a beautiful facility. Instructors, I think you're really going to like it. Track flows very nicely. It's a challenge to learn because of so many blind areas out here on the track. It'll be, uh, I believe it'll be a very good teaching track, but it's also going to have a lot of speed to it. It's not a horsepower track. I don't think it's really going to be a horsepower track. I think it's going to be a, more of a chassis track out here and uh, momentum in the, some of the turns. But it uh, definitely flows very nice. There you have it, a couple laps of the brand new Atlanta Motorsports Park near Dawsonville, Georgia. What you say we bring track guys up here a couple times, huh? Maybe even in 2012. See you at Atlanta Motorsports Park.